sufficient care and start checking it out. And notice this is rendering it you know, hundreds of frames per second, even though this is at a, a high definition resolution. Uh, now eventually we're gonna come into some of this detail and we'll start seeing that it's just a blocky mess. And if we move around now, you see that it's all kind of moving in this sort of jumpy way. That's because we've basically run out of precision here. But I'm gonna just switch the shape to be a double precision version of it. And suddenly there's just a whole bunch more precision in here. This is just a very naive Mandelbrot uh, set explorer. But we can move in and you can see that it takes a long time to you know, to get to a level where you run out of any kind of precision here. So I'm going to zoom back out so you can see how far deep in we, we've really gone here. And there's the whole Mandelbrot set. So I'll, I'll go and I'll zoom it in where some of these cells are done in single precision and you'll quickly be able to tell which ones it is. Um, as I zoom in, some, something like this cell is done in single precision, where the cell right in the middle is done in double precision. Um, we can also look at other sort of interesting things. This would let you sort of interactively look at the Julian set and we can change around and get an interesting version of that. And then again, just zoom into it and see everything happening in single and double precision. So this is just happening right in the shader and I'll, I'll show you the, the code. It's a pretty simple shader. 